Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Ricky and this is Every Gamer. Gaming is in the air everywhere. And after the intro, I'm going to do a comparison of Cache OS and Windows 11 gaming performance on the Lenovo Legion Go. Let's go. Hi guys, maybe you might have heard about uh, Bezite, that's a Linux system which is running well on handhelds to yeah, give you the experience of using uh, SteamOS just on your handhelds. And um, today I'm going to show you a good alternative called uh, Cache OS, which is also faster as you will see. And I will compare the gaming performance from it with uh, Windows games running on the same uh, settings in the games and you will be surprised of how good Cache OS is performing. We will begin the comparison here with uh, Resident Evil Village and I'm going to set the presets onto balanced on uh, 800p and turn off the vertical synchronization. As you can see on the left, we have Cache OS and on the right Windows 11. And you will directly see that we have a way higher FPS on the left, just when walking around. And yes, because I uh, played first on Cache OS and then on Windows 11, on Windows 11, I directly targeted the boss, as you can see on the right. And on the left, I will take a bit longer. So let's wait a second to compare when uh, we're actually fighting the boss on both at the same time. But here you will see I'm still around 10 FPS uh, faster on Cache OS. Clearly faster from, yeah, 5 to 10 to 20, depending on the situation. So first win for Cache OS here. Okay, now let's move to Black Myth Wukong. I'm going to use the same settings here on Cache OS and Windows again, as always. So 800p, no vsync, the motion blur on to off, no frame rate cap, and borderless mode, 16 to 9. We'll turn the super resolution to 80 as on Windows. Keep everything on low. And let's begin with the benchmark. As you can see right away, about 10 FPS more on Cache OS on the left. Please don't wonder about the darkness that you can that you see here. Uh, on the left, I had the light on in my room and on the right, I had it off um, optically. Besides that, it looks quite similar. That's why it looks a bit more natural on the right side because it wasn't the screen wasn't so over brightened. Um, yeah, but for the rest, it looks optically similar or identical. I need to say um, that I used this benchmark here because there was a benchmark, right? And it makes it easier to compare exactly to um, same things. But in the game, it runs a bit faster in my experience. I mean, we're having also a hard to handle situation here with a lot of water, right? And uh, that's why it's a bit harder.
It is also more stable on QuestOS. You will see that we will have a strong lag, probably some kind of transversal stutter on the right on Windows that we are not going to have on the left. And it's weird because um, here it was. Um, that's weird because there was a, a shading pre-calculation on both, even on Windows, but just the in-game and on Linux, there was also the, the pre-game shading compilation, which takes a long time, by the way. Um, but yeah, maybe that makes the difference. I don't know, it's just the system, who knows? And here we're coming to the end of the benchmark and we're going to see the direct comparison. As you can see, 10 FPS in average more on uh, Cache US on the left. And uh, also the minimal FPS are 58 on Cache US and 15 on Windows. So a big win again for Cache US here. Okay, now I'm going to play Quake Champions and compare it with those settings that you see here. So 1600p, a 16 to 10 uh, ratio on full screen and 100% uh, uh, resolution on high and with no uh, V-Sync again. Okay, and once again, we see here on the left, Cache OS I need to admit it's not the exact same map, okay, but they're more or less same as complex. And uh, as you can see here on the left, we're having again 10 to 20 FPS more here in Quake Champions. Of course, also on the left, it goes down to 40 into certain situations, but on the right, on Windows 11, we're constantly at between 30 and 35 FPS. So uh, yeah, there's a big difference that you can see. And on the left, we're mostly, yeah, over 40. And here we go once again on the left, Cache OS with 144 FPS. So the maximum that uh, the Legion Go can display. And on the right, it's 126, yeah, 128 now on Windows. But now we're just at the beginning, right? We're flying at the beginning and we're going uh, to have a look how it will be looking like when fighting, you see if there's some weather, some rain and some effects on there, it goes down on the left, but it's the same also on, uh, on Windows. It doesn't drop that much, which is interesting on the right. Uh, but if there's no volumetric clouds and no weather on the left, you see that on Cache US it's uh, way higher in FPS. Here you see that we're fighting, we're starting to fight already on Cache US on the left, <laughs> but uh, the FPS are still quite good. Now it even got faster when having bad weather. On the right, it's increasing because I'm flying <laughs> into the sky. Um, and now a fight began. Okay, so it seems like yeah, it's still better on Cache OS, but after a while you can see also on Windows it gets better. Okay, and this is Dragon's Dogma 2. As you can see, we are going to stay at 800p with 144 hertz. 
a variable video, uh, so a variable um, FPS. No FSR3, everything turned off. Rendering method onto progressive, and for the rest, everything on really minimal. The only thing that we will keep on is the shadow cache. And that's it. Okay, and now moving in game, we see that we're having again a slightly better FPS here in uh, Cache OS on the left, and it's more stable. You'll see, I'll, I'll go around through the village and uh, you will see that, yeah, it runs a bit better too. Not that much in that game, sincerely. Looking at that at the moment, you see that it's above 30 on the left and at, yeah, slightly less than 30 on the right in Windows. So maybe it's just a gain of 5 FPS, something like this in average. But it also runs a bit more stable, so uh, I'm just fighting against a few guys here in the village to simulate some fighting scenes. Yeah, you see. It's a bit faster. Now it goes lower, but it goes lower on both of them. Yeah. A win for... Uh, Cash US in this case, but not a big win, let's say. Okay, and as last but not least, we're going to uh, do a benchmark of Baldur's Gate 3. And here you see the settings. We're going to put it on 16 to 10 ratio for so the right ratio for the Legion Go screen. We're going to go down on to 800p. We're going to stay at 144 Hertz and having triple buffering, no uh, image, no, no uh, limit, FPS limit. And we're going to turn FSR 2.2 on, on to um, quality. For the rest, we're going to stay on to the middle setting for everything. No anti-lasing and uh, leave everything else as it is. And moving in game. Okay, now we're having different perspectives. I know. Um, let's just wait until we have similar ones. Yeah. You see again, we're having like about 10 to 20 more FPS here, depending on the, yeah, on the view, on what's happening on the screen. It's faster again here for Cache OS. Maybe 20 FPS faster sometimes, sometimes only 10 but it's still way faster. Let's have a look now after talking with this small guy and fighting with the harpies, just to show you also a fight. I'm sorry that the camera dropped on the right <laughs> for, for Windows, but at least you can still see the, the FPS. <laughs> It's my mobile phone and the, the weight on the holder and then it went down. Okay, you can still see 64. I hope it doesn't slide even further down. Yeah, ah, it's sliding down even further. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, there, I, I was moving it back. Yep, 
yeah so now you can see it in in fights it's also looking better on the left side but now we're also being zoomed out completely on cache os yeah it just gives you an idea um, that it runs better on cache os too i think that should be enough now too and that was it for the benchmarks yeah so summing everything up you've seen that basically in each game that we've tested yeah on cache os the games are running faster and sometimes just a little bit often a lot so i can really recommend this system as a linux uh, distribution for you and uh, yeah it, it depends probably on it being running on uh, arch on a, being an arch fork of linux and um, there have been some additional uh, optimizations but i'm not such a linux nerd <laughs> i'm just using this for gaming so far and yeah i just can recommend you to uh, install it to uh, do a dual boot installation i'll post a nice tutorial uh, as link below of a guy who who did that and uh, also there's an option to uh, install like an additional uh, way and an additional software i forgot its name of to uh, basically be able to choose at each dual boot if to start into um, windows directly or into linux so that you have the the freedom of choice and also you can run every game right that is not running on linux they're not many but the ones that are running for um, the xbox games pass for example um, yeah you might need windows for that and there's such a tool i also post a tutorial of the same guy uh, into the link below and as this was a lot of effort and took me a few days to uh, record besides my work uh, I would be really happy if you would uh, leave me a like and a subscription and please let me know how this uh, video uh, was for you, how you find it, found it and uh, please give me some feedback below. I would be really happy about that. See you next time.